hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you liked this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in and that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So everything is alleged. Some it's not. And the Fair Act use is in my description box, y'all. So let's get to it, y'all. Let's get to it. Y'all, it's some explosive stuff coming out in this paperwork that Don has accused Puffy of. Y'all, she got so much stuff in this paperwork. Different times, dates. Oh my goodness, y'all, there's no doubt in my mind that Puffy is not going to jail. He's going to go to jail. He is definitely going to jail. Y'all, when they finish talking to everybody, and I mean everybody, okay, that is when they're going to come down, they're going to lay the hammer on Puffy, okay, y'all? Now, there's more explosive stuff coming out right now, and it is also including Usher and Neo and Jimmy Iovine, y'all, it is about to go down. Okay, y'all? And nine times out of ten, Jimmy Iovine and all these people, um, they didn't cover up his stuff so much for years. that it's, it's no doubt in my mind that they probably won't continue to cover up the stuff. But when you are in an open restaurant and places like this and you've been a pretty much, you know, Paul's been put on you, there's camera footage of this stuff. There's witnesses. And if she, what she's saying is true, y'all. Oh, my goodness, y'all. Ain't no telling how much money this woman is about to get. Not only, you know, is she putting down the, the prices and amount that, you know, he cheated her out of money, all kind of stuff that she suffered. She went to the hospital dealing with stuff that she went through with this man. He wasn't, he wouldn't let them eat when they was like, Oh, my goodness. And this man is so dirty, it don't make sense. That's why I tell y'all, uh-uh. Oh, no. When karma comes, karma comes. This woman said that for hours and hours and hours. Okay? She got to a point where she was so dehydrated, she was throwing up and all kind of stuff, y'all. Okay? She got to a point where she was there for hours. They was begging him for food, and they was hungry and stuff, and he was telling them, this is how you're supposed to, you know, this is how you make icons. You have to work hard. You know what I'm saying? And they wouldn't eat for hours. That Now, this child was already skinny, y'all. And this is what he was doing to her. Then he wanted her to go get, you know, work done on her body, and she never did. Y'all, this is ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. When when you are pretty much starving a person and making them work for hours and hours and hours, and then you come in and eat in their faces, and they asking you for some food and you wouldn't give them none. Y'all, people, let me tell y'all something. If you're dealing with somebody like this, this is not worth it. This is not worth it. You walk away from situations like this. Ain't no way in the world would I would have let somebody starve me and then sit there and eat in my face. And they didn't, he didn't call none of these females by their names. They were always witches with a B. Okay, y'all? This is how Puffy talked to them. And if they said anything, people, I make things happen. People come up missing. Y'all, um, y'all, the stuff that's coming out now, this is... Y'all, ain't no way in the world that they're not going to reopen Kim Porter's case and everything else around it, okay? People that then came up missing, people that was dating some of the people of his exes that then, you know, mysteriously passed away in hotel rooms and all that stuff, ain't no way that they are not going to reopen these cases, y'all. All of these cases is probably going to be reopened, y'all. Puffy's case is going to be the case of the decade okay y'all ain't no way and i'm wondering now is his friends gonna turn on him? because there's a lot of information coming out now y'all and he did his assistant so dirty y'all they're saying that he left his assistant in another country while they was all y'all doing the train train okay 
He left her in another country and took her passport and left her, y'all, in the UK. Um, this man so dirty, it don't make sense. And his mama, y'all, boy, oh boy, I'm surprised lightning ain't striking him and his mama because I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, this came from somewhere. This had to come from somewhere or something for him to be this dirty. This guy is seriously sick out of his mind. And it's well overdue for this one to go down. And she's mentioning how he did not only did her, but other artists. So it's a, I told y'all that other artists is going to start coming forth too. When they find out the settlement that Don is about to get, everybody going to start coming forth, telling about their experiences with Puffy. Everybody, y'all. Usher name is coming up. Neo, I'm not surprised. To be honest with y'all, I'm not surprised. Look at Neo now. A lot of people are starting to call Neo the next P. Diddy. Look at him now. He left his wife and everything to be, you know, single and running around here with two women on his arm. He running around here acting like Finesse two times. Okay, y'all? Grown man with kids. He didn't want to start acting like Finesse. Like he just then lost his mind now running around here. Oh, he hang out with one girlfriend for her birthday, then hang out with the other one, and then hang out with them together. And and this is the life that Neo choose, chose over his children, over being a family man. Why would you mar get married and have children, and this is the life you wanted in the first place? This is one thing I do not understand about some men. If you want to be out here running the streets, mingling and tingling with anybody and everybody, why get married in the first place? When you can't keep your eyes off of everybody's rear end, that past value, it makes no sense. You just breaks up a family home and then, you know, the kids got to get used to another woman. And then are you going to even be satisfied with a new woman in the house? Because you weren't satisfied with your, with the old one. And if uh, the nine times out of 10, when a man is running around here from house to house to house to house and doing this, all this stuff behind a woman back. They not going to change because a new woman come into play. They still going to be that same person, y'all. Look at Finesse two times. He had three women, y'all. He got rid of two of them and told her that he was going to be with just her, that he loved her. And look what's happening now. Look what's happening now. It's playing out all over social media. He done moved another woman in and he's making her, forcing her to, you know, be with this other woman and, 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 and just deal with it. This is what he want. It's his money. And you are going to have to deal with it or you can bounce. I don't need y'all. This is what he's saying to them on social media. These are the videos that Vanessa is posting. And this is how Neo is acting right now, y'all. Is Neo going to be next? Ask yourself this question. I know he's, you know, splurging and giving his girlfriends everything they want right now. But is it going to get to a point where he's sitting in Puffy's? footsteps and we all know about usher everybody knows about usher y'all no matter how they try to throw him down your throat and act like he's the greatest thing that ever lived and he is an icon and this and that and, that and this his music very iconic but look at the meaning behind a lot of his music it's about cheating and all of this mess okay look at the lawsuits that came out against usher y'all look at the lawsuits People saying that he gave them packages, men and women, came forward and he settled out of court, allegedly. Okay, y'all? And paid them people off. Not only that, a lot of people, ain't they ain't stupid. They sitting back here watching Usher because they done lost respect for Usher. No matter how many awards they want to act like and put him on a magazine as he's the sexiest man alive or all the stuff he want to act like. This is the same man that brought Justin Bieber to this guy right here. How do you be treated, dogged out, whatever, by Puffy, allegedly, sent to the hospital? All the rumors are out there, okay? The security guards are saying this, that Usher was rushed to the hospital because of something Puffy did to him, okay? A mingle tingle, wise, okay? Word on the street, I don't know, okay? But the thing that gets me, his mama didn't raise H to the E-L-L -L about it. That's what gets me, okay? That you could be paid off to be quiet just so your son can be successful, y'all. It makes no sense to me. And then 
Usher knowing doggone well what he went through with the heavy, you know, with the um puffy boot camp and all of this stuff. You turn around and you bring another child to a situation that you didn't got yourself out of. You didn't grew out of it, but you still in the mix and you bring another innocent person to the mix so that Puffy can ruin their life too. Y'all, I got a feeling that when Justin Bieber start talking, the shitika is going to hit the fan and people ain't going to be putting the usher on this pedestal that they're putting them on. Remember with that song that they did, you know, I forgot the name monster They build you up. So you could fall. Y'all remember that song? Is this what's going on right now in our face? They built Puffy up. He didn't fail. Remember that? Now they built right after Puffy fall. Then Usher was step number two in place to build up. Out of all the celebrities that we have out here, they can put nobody on a pedestal but somebody that brought another person to the Puffy. So he could do them dirty too. He didn't got all these awards as man of the year. Um, is they building him Usher up so he can fall too? Because is he next? His name is coming up in the paperwork now, y'all. Dunn said that Usher and Neo and his Iran guy were sitting at the table in a public place, y'all. And Puffy got up and balled up his hand and put paws on her stomach. And she just bowled over. Well, you know, bent over and start crying. This is what she said. Nobody called the police. Nobody said anything. These guys act like it never happened. And everybody went on about their business, y'all. This is crazy, y'all. And they putting the Usher on a pedestal right now like he's something special. What is wrong with the world right now? That every time the worse somebody is, the more they pump them up. And this is what I keep telling y'all about this election now. The more somebody is pumped up, you got to sit back and be like, why is they pumping this person up so much? Same thing they did to Usher. Same thing they did to Puffy. Puffy was getting awards after awards, doing one award show after another. You think that they, all these rumors wasn't out about what Puffy was doing in the first place? They chose to ignore it and push, push Puffy up a pedestal like he was something special, y'all. And then when he fell from grace, they took another person that wasn't too much different than Puffy and threw in that spot. As if they had nobody else to put in that spot, y'all. We got Mario. We got a whole bunch of different artists that you do not hear all of this stuff about. Why didn't they pump him up? Mario can sing, y'all. And he fine. Ooh, Lord, at candy. Okay? We ain't heard nothing about he didn't pass people, all kind of packages, women and men. We ain't heard none of that stuff about him. He ain't in no kind of controversies about all of this stuff, people suing him, bringing other people to get, you know, be a victim to people that victimized him. Like, we're not hearing none of that stuff about him. Why is it? Ask yourself this question. That the industry and the people that handles these award shows and the magazines with the man of the year and all this stuff. Why don't they put somebody in there that deserve it? Why do they go to the next person that got just as many faults as the other person that just fell off of their pedestal? Ask yourself this question. This is why I tell y'all, y'all got to be careful and pay attention when they pump something up real, real hard. Just like I was telling y'all about certain people. Everywhere you look, you got this certain psychic person everywhere. Everybody's pumping up this. Everybody's pumping up that. If you are that good, you're going to speak for yourself. You don't have to pay people to pump you up on, your pay, on their pages. And why are you going after another race to pump you up? Why do you want to be pushed down some of the, the throats of African Americans? Why? Ask yourself this question. If you are that good, your work is going to speak for itself. Why do you have to pay people to go to their platform so they can pump you up? And if somebody have an opinion on you, you go get your lawyers. When something is being pushed in your face, just shoved down your throats, nine times out of ten, it's not good for you. It's not good for you. It's just like if you want to eat healthy. 
You can go to the store and buy all the junk you want that's bad for you. You can afford it. But when you want to eat healthy, you can't afford it. It's not easily accessed. Just like what's good for you out here is not easily accessed. If somebody wants to throw something down your throat, that's not no good for you. Okay, y'all? Pay attention to that. Because that's, I keep pushing this. You have to pay attention to that. Y'all, this stuff that um, she put out and the stuff that this woman went through. Man, oh man. Prayers up for Don. The stuff she went through. And what she thought she had to go through to, to have a career. See, a lot of these artists from making a band and stuff that ended up back on the street selling street pharmacy stuff, trying to hustle do, and, and make it out here after being put on that show and, and, and doing shows and all of this stuff, which they thought was the beginning of something. But they didn't realize what they was dealing with was a monster. They had an idea when he was telling them to go get him with the cheesecake and all stuff and walk across town to go get it. They had a deal of what they was dealing with. What couldn't have been real. And people actually watched this on TV, how he treated them. And if he did that on national TV, the things that he was doing didn't make sense. What y'all think he did behind closed doors to these people? What do y'all think? It is amazing. It's amazing, y'all, how 2024 is going. I keep telling y'all, ain't no telling what you're going to hear next. It's amazing how 2024 is coming along. Everything and everybody is getting outed for their mess. Okay, y'all? Everything. Everybody. This industry is crumbling apart. And all their dirt is coming out left and right and left and right. This is sick, okay? This is sick. And I'm wondering now, are they going to question? Are they going to have to come to court? Is Jimmy Iovine going to come to court and tell the truth on what Puffy did to her? Or is he going to lie? Is the feds going to pull out that footage from the, the restaurant? Are they going to question people at the restaurant? Is the people at the restaurant going to tell the truth that, yeah, he did put paws on her in this restaurant and she had to leave up out of here crying, balled over? See, <laughs> y'all, I ain't going to say what I want to say because you might get in trouble for saying it. They'll say you, you know, promoting violence. And I don't want to do that, okay? I don't want to do that at all. But sooner or later, Puffy going to get what's coming to him. And I got a feeling that when he get in that prison system and he's broke and looking down and out and this and that and that and this, they going to give him what he's asking for and been asking for for years in that prison. I just got a feeling that somebody going to break him off in that prison system. Okay, y'all? I truly believe that. And I'm wondering now, is Usher going to come in there and laugh for him and say, no, nah, she lying? Or is they not even going to believe them because they're friends? they in the same boat, technically. Is, is Neo going to lie? Do y'all see how everybody's stuff is coming out now, y'all? Everybody. Is this white guy going to get in there and laugh on him too and say it never happened? Is he going to make himself look stupid? Are they going to look stupid when they find out, oh, the people that own the restaurant said that, that he did do it? We just wanted to see what y'all was going to say. Is they going to be outed for lying? Or is they going to come and tell the truth because they don't know what they got up under their sleeve? Ask yourself this question. Is people in that restaurant going to come forward and say, I was there, I saw it. Is these celebrities going to make themselves look stupid for lying for Puffy too? Ask yourself this question, y'all. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Prayers up for Dunn and what she had to go through. Um, this is sad. Prayers up for all of um puffy's artists that had to do to work with him because i can't imagine had to work with somebody like this i cannot imagine having to work with somebody like this this is crazy y'all it really is it's crazy and you never know what people that went through you really don't until people is ready to talk about it. You never know. I can really relate to what she went through. Y'all. Yeah. Okay? 
I'm just going to put it that way. I can relate to some of the stuff she went through. But this is ridiculous, y'all. And now other celebrities is coming up. Lord, oh Lord, what is about to go down, y'all? Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.